Crime Detection and Investigation Fundamentals of Criminal Investigation Investigation, an inquiry, judicial or otherwise for the discovery and collection of facts concerning the matters involved. It is the process of inquiring, eliciting, soliciting and getting vital information, facts, circumstances in order to establish the truth. Criminal Investigator a public safety officer who is tasked to conduct the investigation of all criminal cases as provided for and embodied under the revised penal code, criminals laws and special laws which are criminal in nature. A well-trained, disciplined and experienced professional in the field of criminal investigation. Custodial investigation, investigation conducted by law enforcement officers after a person has been arrested or deprived of his freedom of action. Neighborhood investigation, one of the most crucial steps in kidnap for ransom cases which is often overlooked. The objective is to identify and interview in person all individuals in the area where the victim was kidnapped or last known sighting area during the window of opportunity. Last time seen until the time discovered missing. Crime scene, a venue or place where the alleged crime slash incident slash event has been committed. Corpus delicti, Latin for the body of the crime, used to describe the physical or material evidence that a crime has been committed. Example corpse of a murder victim. Confession, is an express acknowledgement by the accused in a criminal prosecution of the truth of his guilt as to the offense charge. Admission, refers to statement of facts not directly constituting an acknowledgement of guilt. Organized criminal group. A structured group of three or more persons existing for a period of time and acting in concert with the aim of committing one or more serious crime or offenses. Organized crime, a combination of two or more persons who are engaged in a criminal or virtual criminal activity on a continuing basis for the purpose of profit or power using gangland style to attain their purpose. Physical evidence. Evidence addressed to the senses of the court that are capable of being exhibited, examined or viewed by the court. This includes but not limited to fingerprints, body fluid, explosives, hazardous chemicals, soil, burn debris, bombs, electronic parts used in the commission of the crime. Victimology, victim profiling, a detailed account of the victim's lifestyle and personality assist in determining the nature of the disappearance, the risk level of the victim and the type of person who could have committed the crime. Complete information regarding the victim's physical description, normal behavior patterns, the family dynamics and known friends and acquaintances should be obtained as soon as possible. Miranda vs. Arizona, Ernesto Miranda had confessed to rape and kidnapping, after two-hour interrogation. Because the interrogators failed to inform Miranda of his right to counsel and remain silent, his conviction was overturned. Waterboarding, refers to the practice of strapping a suspect to a board with his or her head lowered, then the face is covered and water is poured over it causing the suspect to gag and experience the sensation of drowning. Chinese Water Torture, Interrogation Technique, Repeatedly Dripping Water on the Forehead of the Suspect the goal is to drive the suspect to near insanity thereby obtaining a confession. Serial killer, is someone who murders three or more people with cooling off periods in between. Police blotter, is an 18 inches by 12 inches logbook with hardbound cover that contains the daily register of all crime incident reports, official summary of arrests and other significant events reported in a police station. A separate police blotter shall be maintained for offenses requiring confidentiality like violence against women and children and those cases involving a child in conflict with the law to protect their privacy pursuant to RA 9262, Anti-Violence Against Women and Children Act of 2004, and RA 9344, Juvenile Justice and Welfare Act of 2006. Actus Reuse proof that a criminal act has occurred. Sketch, a rough drawing or painting, often made to assist in making a more finished picture. Types of sketches. 1. Floor plan, 
Bird's eye view. 2. Elevation drawing. 3. Exploded view. 4. Respective drawings. Alan Pinkerton, a Scottish American detective who created the Pinkerton National Detective Agency, the first detective agency in the U.S. Pinkerton foiled a plot to assassinate President Lincoln. Rouge's Gallery is a police collection of pictures or photographs of criminals and suspects kept for identification purposes. A compilation of descriptions, methods of operation having places and names of criminal and their associates. Mugshot is a photographic portrait taken after one is arrested. Criminal investigation, it is the collection of facts in order to accomplish the threefold aims. Threefold aims of criminal investigation to identify the guilty party, to locate the guilty party, to provide evidence of his guilt. Six cardinal points of investigation. What specific offense was committed? How the offense was committed? Who committed it? Where the offense was committed? When it was committed? Why it was committed? Tools of an investigator in gathering facts. 1. Information. Data gathered by an investigator and other person including the victim himself and from 1. Public records 2. Private records 3. Modus operandi file 2. Interview, skillful questioning of witness and suspects 3. Instrumentation, scientific examination of real evidence Application of instruments and method of physical sciences in detecting crime. Phases of investigations. 1. Phase 1. Identify the suspect through. 1. Confession. 2. Eyewitness testimony. 3. Circumstantial evidence. 4. Associate evidence. 2. Phase 2. Locate and apprehend suspect. 3. Phase 3, gather and provide evidence to establish the guilt of the accused. Composition, organization of an investigation team. Team leader. Investigator, recorder. Photographer. Evidence custodian. Composite illustrator, artist. Equipment of an investigator. Police line. Video camera. Voice recorder. Camera. Measuring device. Gloves. Flashlight. Fingerprint kit. Evidence bag. Evidence tag. Evidence bottles, vials. Investigators tickler. Investigators tickler. Investigators checklist. Anatomical diagram form. Evidence checklist. Turnover receipt. Standard methods of recording investigative data. Photographs. Sketching crime scenes. Written notes, what you have seen, observed. Developing and lifting fingerprints found at the crime scene. Gathering physical evidence. Plaster cast. Tape recording of sounds. Videotape recording of objects. Written statement of objects and witnesses. Two kinds of information. 1. Regular sources. X. Citizen, company records. 2. Cultivated sources, X. Paid informant. Interrogation or questioning witness or suspect who is reluctant to divulge or reveal information with the goal of extracting a confession or obtaining information while an interview is simple questioning of a person who cooperate with the investigator. How the suspect is identified. 1. Confession or admission, is a declaration of an accused acknowledging his guilt. 2. Eyewitness testimony. 3. Circumstantial evidence. How circumstantial evidence obtained. 1. Motive. 2. Opportunity. 3. Associative evidence. Types of interview. 1. Informal, on-the-scene interview, conducted by police. Investigator at the crime scene to get description of criminal if seen. 2. Formal, 
interview conducted by the investigator assigned to the case. Types of formal interview. 1. Normal, for willing or cooperative witness. 2. Group, pretext interview, for hostile witness or witness who refuse to cooperate. 3. Follow-up, additional interview in addition to vital points if necessary. Qualifications of interviewer. 1. Salesman. 2. Actor. 3. Psychologist. Requisites of an interview. 1. Establish rapport. 2. Forcefulness of personality. 3. Breadth of interest. Setting of interview. 1. Background interview. Time and place of interview are not a consideration except for busy person. 2. Routine criminal cases. Interview should be carefully planned. Busy person can be interviewed at night. Privacy is important. 3. Important criminal cases, should be conducted in places other than the subject's home, office to prevent him, her feeling confident. Investigator should get interviewee's respect. 4. Appropriate time, general rule, ASAP, as soon possible while facts are fresh in the memory of interviewees. Methods of crime scene search. 1. Strip method, the area is blocked out in the form of a rectangle. The searchers, three person is good, proceed slowly at the same pace along paths parallel to one side of the rectangle. 2. Double strip search method, modification of the strip search method. The rectangle is traversed first parallel to the base then parallel to a side. 3. Spiral search method, the searchers, three person is good. Follow each other along the path of a spiral beginning on the outside and spiraling in towards the center. 4. Zone search method. One searcher is assigned to each subdivision of a quadrant and then each quadrant is cut into another set of quadrants. 5. Wheel search method. The area is considered to be approximately circular. The searchers gather at the center and proceed outward along radii or spokes. Procedure is repeated several times depending on the size of the circle and the number of searchers. Traffic Management and Accident Investigation Definition of Terms Accident, Legal Meaning, An Accident is any happening beyond the Control of a person the consequences of which are not foreseeable. There is no criminal liability in accident provided, the following requisites or elements under the law must be satisfied. 1. Performance of a lawful act. 2. With due care. 3. Causes injury to another by mere accident. 4. Without any fault or intention of causing it. Articulated vehicle, shall mean any motor vehicles with a trailer. Having no front axle and so attached that part of the trailer rest upon the motor vehicle and a substantial part of the weight of the trailer and of its load is borne by the motor vehicle. Benz patent motor wagon, motor car, built in 1886, is widely regarded as the first automobile. It is a vehicle designed to be propelled by an internal combustion engine. Box junction is a road traffic control measure designed to prevent congestion and gridlock at junctions. A road area at a junction marked with a yellow grid, which a vehicle should enter only if its exit from. It is clear. Box junctions were introduced in the UK during 1967. Following a successful trial in London. Chain of events, is the making up of accident or the link which explains the occurrence of the accident and its components are present in every accident. Perception of hazard, is the point of sensory warning at which the operator sensed the approaching hazard. The driver may not comprehend or recognize the hazard in all of its implications at this point of perception, but there was a warning. The normal routine is perception, realization, or Recognition, decision, and action. Possible perception, is a link in the accident chain dealing. 
with the reaction of a normal person, prompt perception occurs. When possible and actual perception are very close, maximum. Delayed perception occurs when actual perception is delayed. Until impact shock alerts the driver. Encroachment is the movement of a vehicle into the path. Assigned to the other traffic unit. Evasive action is the first action taken by a traffic unit. To escape from a collision course or otherwise avoid the hazard. Point of no escape is that location and that time after hour. Beyond which an accident cannot be prevented by the driver or pedestrian. Initial contact, it is the first accidental touching of an object collided with by a traffic unit in motion. Maximum engagement is the greatest collapse or overlap in a collision. Disengagement is the separation of a traffic unit in motion from an object with which it has collided. Final rest of stopping, it usually stabilizes the accident. Situation where both vehicles in a collision has ceases its force, and stopping may occur with or without control by the driver or pedestrian. Classification of road 1. National road 2. Provincial road 3. City road 4. Municipal road 5. Brangay Road 6. Private Road Compressed air car is an alternative fuel car that uses a motor powered by compressed air. The car can be powered solely by air or by air combined, as in a hybrid electric vehicle, with gasoline, diesel, ethanol, or electric plant. Crosswalks are designed to keep pedestrians together where they can be seen by motorists, and where they can cross most safely across the flow of vehicular traffic. Defensive driving is an act of driving while preventing accidents. Despite of the wrong actions of others aggravated by the existence of adverse driving conditions, which requires knowledge, alertness, foresight, judgment and skill. Ferdinand Verbiest a member of a Jesuit mission in China, built the first steam-powered vehicle around 1672 which was of small scale and designed as a toy for the Chinese emperor, that was unable to carry a driver or a passenger, but quite possibly, was the first working steam-powered vehicle. Force Mayure is an inevitable accident or casualty, an accident produced by any physical cause which is irresistible. In other words, it is an act of man, such robbery, fire, fault, negligence, rebellion, etc. Fortuitous event, an event which takes place by accident and could not have been foreseen. In other words it is an act of God which could neither be foreseen nor resisted, such as earthquake, lightning, flood, and the like. François de Rivas, a French and Swiss national who invented a hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine with electric ignition and described it in a French patent published in 1807. In 1808 he fitted it into a primitive working vehicle the world's first internal combustion-powered automobile. Fuel cell hybrid vehicle. FCHV was developed by Toyota in 2005. The vehicle is powered by the chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen to power the motor driving the vehicle. Geneva Convention on Road Traffic, September 19, 1949, promotes the development and safety of international road traffic by establishing certain uniform rules. Gottlieb Daimler he invented the high-speed petrol engine. He is also thought to have invented the first real motorcycle in 1885. Gustav Trev, in November 1881, Trev demonstrated a working three-wheeled electric automobile at the International Exhibition of Electricity in Paris. Hit and run, is the act of causing, or contributing to, 
a traffic accident, such as colliding with a person or a fixture, and failing to stop and identify oneself afterwards. It is considered a crime in most jurisdictions. Characteristics of hit and run drivers 1. After leaving the scene, he dreads or frightened of being caught. 2. He may have left the accident scene because he was shocked, injured, or intoxicated. 3. He may have been too confused to know he was doing. 4. He may have a long record of violations or accidents and therefore a terrible fear of getting further involved with the law. 5. More often, he fears financial loss especially if he does not have liability insurance. 6. Hit and run drivers do not have a established method of operation unlike criminals. Imprudence indicates deficiency of action. If a person fails to take the necessary precaution to avoid injury to a person or damage to property, there is imprudence. Imprudence usually involves lack of skill. Ivan Kulibin, a Russian mechanic and inventor, he developed in 1971 a human pedaled, three wheeled carriage with modern features such as a flywheel, brake, gearbox, and bearings. Carl Friedrich Benz, was a German engine designer and car engineer. Generally regarded as the inventor of the first automobile powered by an internal combustion engine, and together with Bertha Benz, pioneering founder of the automobile manufacturer Mercedes-Benz. Last clear chance, it means that the driver who is in the better position to prevent the accident shoulders the responsibility of preventing the accident. The last clear chance principle is always applied in any traffic accidental investigation in order to justify penalized the driver who was not defensive in its driving. Lester Wire, a policeman in Salt Lake City, Utah. He developed the first electric traffic light in 1912 which used red-green. Macadam is a type of road construction pioneered by Scottish engineer John Ludon Macadam around 1820. The method simplified what had been considered state of the art at that point. Single sized aggregate layers of small stones, with a coating of binder as a cementing agent, are mixed in an open structured roadway. Mesopotamia, present Iraq, location of the oldest constructed roads. Discovered to date. The stone paved streets date back to about 4000 BC. In the Mesopotamia cities of Ur and Babylon. Milestone, the earliest road signs, giving distance or direction. Milestone is one of a series of numbered markers placed along a road. Or boundary at intervals of one mile or occasionally, parts of a mile. They are typically located at the side of the road or in a median. Motor Car Act 1903, introduced registration of motor cars and licensing of drivers in the United Kingdom and increased the speed limit. Motor vehicle, shall mean any vehicle propelled by any power other than muscular power using the public highways, but exempting road rollers, trolley cars, street sweepers, bulldozers, graders, forklifts, cranes, vehicles which runs only on rails or tracks, tractors, trailers, and traction engine. Negligence, indicates a deficiency of perception. If a person fails to pay proper attention to use due diligence in foreseeing the injury or damage impending to be caused there in negligence. Negligence usually involves lack of skill. Nicholas Joseph Cugnot was a French inventor. He is known to have built the first working self-propelled mechanical vehicle, the world's first automobile. Nicolas August Otto, the German inventor of the first internal combustion engine to efficiently burn fuel directly in a piston chamber. Paris, in 1964, 
first time that police women were used for traffic. Control duties. Pavement markings are markings on the roads and surfaces whereby a message is conveyed by means of words or symbols, officially reflected. For the purpose of regulating, warning and guiding traffic may indicate a number of things like 1. Where lanes are divided 2. Where you may pass other vehicles 3. Where you may change lanes or which lane to use for turns 4. Where pedestrian walkways are located 5. Where you may stop for traffic signs and traffic signals Types of pavement markings 1. Curve markings are used to show where parking is legally prohibited or not allowed, such bus stop, or in front of a fire hydrant, driveway. 2. Object markings, are painted on fixed poles, and on vertical ends of bridges and ports to avoid accidents. 3. Reflectorized markings, are used to mark hazardous areas and also used as delineators or road limits, these delineators are aids especially during night driving, particularly when the alignment of a road changes and might confuse the operator of a vehicle. 4. Striped curb markings, are markings used in traffic islands in order to warn the driver of the traffic island on the road and aids the motorist to its traffic lane. Five. Painted crosswalk, are placed at intersections and other places where there is considerable pedestrians traffic to provide pedestrians with safety zones when crossing. 6. Broken white lines, is used to define or separate traffic lanes. It permits crossing from one lane to another if there is ample passing distance, and if the opposing lane is clear of traffic. 7. Solid white line, is used to separate opposing streams of traffic. Crossing is unlawful except where ample distance exists and where the opposing traffic lane is clear of traffic. 8. Solid yellow line, is your driving lane prohibits you from passing other vehicles. 9. Double yellow line, indicates two-way traffic, or crossing of pedestrian and motorist is not allowed. It separates the opposing flow of traffic. 10. Broken yellow lines is a two-way highway which means no overtaking or passing is permitted only when the road ahead is clear. 11. Stop line, it indicates where stops should be made. PD 96, a law declaring unlawful the use or attachment of sirens. Bells, horns, whistles or similar gadgets that emit exceptionally loud or startling sounds, including dome lights and other signaling or flashing devices on motor vehicles. January 13, 1973 Exemptions, motor vehicles designated for official use by the 1. AFP 2. NBI 3. LTO 4. Plug and Play 5. BFP 6. Hospital Ambulances Penalty 1. Confiscation, First Offense 2. Imprisonment, Six Months and or Fine Second and Succeeding Offenses 3. Cancellation or Revocation or Certificate of Registration PD 1911 a law authorizing the disposal of unclaimed recovered and impounded carnapped motor vehicles. This law provides that all carnapped or stolen motor vehicle recovered and impounded by law enforcement agencies which after a period of three months from the date of its seizure, recovery, have remained unclaimed or whose real owners could no longer be determined or established because the original numbers of the Motor engine or chassis numbers could no longer be determined and restored, are considered as abandoned motor vehicles and shall be sold and disposed of by the chief plug and play or his authorized representative in a public auction. 
in all cases before any public auction is effected, there shall be published once a week for three, three, consecutive weeks in a newspaper of general circulation in the Philippines or in the place where it was recovered or found, a description of the motor vehicles intended to be auctioned with a notice that after the lapse of one month from the date of the last publication, should no person file a claim for the recovery of the same, said motor vehicles will be sold at public auction. Pedestrian crossing is a place designated for pedestrians to cross a road. Pierre-Marie Jerome Dressiguet was a French engineer. He is widely credited with establishing the first scientific approach to road building. About the year 1764, proposed a method of construction relying on a firm well-drained foundation of large rocks topped by progressively smaller ones, forming a convex surface to make it more impervious to water. He is sometimes considered the first person to bring post-Roman science to road building. Places where parking is prohibited. 1. Within an intersection. 2. On a crosswalk. 3. Within 6 meters of the intersection of curb lines. 4. Within 4 meters of the driveway's entrance to any fire station. 5. Within 4 meters of a fire hydrant. 6. In front of a private driveway. 7. On the roadway side of any vehicle stopped or parked at the curb. Or edge of the highway. 8. At any place where official signs have been erected prohibiting. Parking. Plug and Play Highway Patrol Group is an operational support unit of the plug and play. In charge of anti carnapping highway robbery and hijacking incidents. Formerly called Traffic Management Group. Traffic Management in Metro Manila is managed by the MMDA. Professional driver, shall mean every and any driver hired or paid for driving or operating a motor vehicle, whether for private use or for public categories of drivers. 1. Tourist. 2. International driver. 3. Government. 4. Professional. 5. Non professional. 6. Student permit. RA 4136, the Land Transportation and Traffic Code. RA 6539, Anti Carnapping Act of 1972. An Act Preventing and Penalizing Carnapping. Carnapping is the taking, with intent to gain, of a motor vehicle belonging to another without the latter's consent, or by means of violence against or intimidation of persons, or by using force upon things. Road intelligence, unusual points of serious congestion must be noted. Note and report unnecessary delay at stop signs or signals which are installed when traffic is heavier. Note and report congestion that ties up traffic for a block or more. Skid marks, are marks caused by tires on roads which occur when a vehicle wheel stops rolling and slides or spins on the surface of the road. Importance of skid mark in traffic accident investigation. Skid marks can be analyzed to find the maximum and minimum vehicle speed prior to an impact or incident. Kinds of skid marks. 1. Pavement grinding, is the collection of many fine scratches, and some larger one formed by particles of gritty materials, such as stone, gravel, glass and sometimes bit of metal, embedding itself in the rubber of the tire or in the thread, pattern and being ground or scored against the road surface. 2. Tire grinding, is the collection of particles of rubber ground from the tire surface by gritty paving, especially before the tire gets hot enough smear. It occur on hard, dry, granular surfaces, particularly weathered or new but not traffic-polished cement. 
3. Erasing, is a clean light area where a sliding tire had erased or removed dirt from the pavement. Erasing is most likely to be found on traffic polished concrete road. 4. Squeeze mark, are areas where a sliding tire rubs moisture of the surface in its path. It occurs on some kind of surface as erasing except that the surface is wet. 5. Smear of soft material, materials such as snow, mud, or debris usually wet smooth or spread by a sliding tire. It occurs on road covered with snow, or mud. 6. Smear of bituminous material, is excess asphalt or tar. Usually warm which spread by a sliding tire this occurs in pavement patches and joints in very warm weather and else where when there is an excess of tar or asphalt bleeding to the surface 7 tire smear is a rubber melted from the tire rather than material melted from the road by a sliding tire 8 scrub of tire during collision collision of cars usually cause the wheel to jam and prevents it from turning if the Vehicles are moving there will be a heavy scrubbing action between tire and road surface. 9. Furrow, is a plowed depression made by a sliding tire with material piled up on each sides and usually at the end. If the soil is smooth and sticky, there may be soft material. Smear in the bottom of the rut. Types of ending skid mark. 1. Overlapping skid mark occurs when the rear wheels track on top of the front wheel marks and sliding. 2. Front wheel marks, are in long skids on the hard pavement with bituminous binders. Front wheels skid marks in which most of the mark is at edge of the tire. 3. Rear tire marks, are relatively faint because of lesser weight on the tire in slowing. They may show thread grooves when the front tire marks do not. 4. Flat tire scuffs, will leave marks by a scrubbing action. Even without application of brakes due to overload. 5. Gaps in skid marks, are interruptions in skid marks made by release of brake pressure and its reapplication. 6. Skip skid, are skid marks that are broken or interrupted without brakes being released. 7. Curb and skid marks, are usually gentle slants toward the edge of the road which is simply downhill. Sources of power and transportation. 1. Manpower. 2. Animal power. 3. Water and air power. 4. Petroleum fuel. 5. Biofuel, biogas and death and all fuel. 6. Hydrogen. 7. Electric. Registration classification of vehicles. 1. Private. 2. For hire. 3. Government. 4. Diplomatic. Scuff marks, are signs left on the road by tires that are sliding or scrubbing while the wheel is still turning. Types of scuff marks. 1. Decelerating scuff, are left while the vehicle is slowing. By braking effort and tires are both sliding and rolling. 2. Accelerating scuff, are left by a wheel driven by the engine and spinning on the ground. 3. Side scuff, are scuff marks left by a tire that is free to rotate without braking or power the sliding sideways. These are usually left by a vehicle staring around the curb and also in collision. 4. Combination scuff, or combination of slide with either decelerating or accelerating scuffs. 5. Flat tire scuff, are marks left on the road by the edges of underinflated or greatly overloaded tires. They are usually smear of rubber. A flat tire rolls it become a very hot especially at the edges where the pressure is greatest. 6. Scrub of tire, 
During collision it is much the same when the wheel is rotating as when it is locked. 7. Furrows, by a rotating and sliding wheel are little different than one with a locked wheel. State of necessity, there is state of necessity even if the injury to a person results in his death, because self-preservation always makes the actor feel that his own safety is greater than that of another. Elements or requisites under the law. 1. The evil sought to avoid it actually exists. 2. The injury feared be greater than that done to avoid it. 3. That there is no other practical and less harmful means of preventing it. Thomas Telford, a Scottish civil engineer, architect and stonemason. And a noted road, bridge and canal builder. He was dubbed the Colossus of Rhodes, and, reflecting his command of all types of civil engineering. In the early 19th century, he was elected as the first president of the Institution of Civil Engineers. Timeline, History of Transportation. 3500 BC, fixed wheels on carts are invented, the first wheeled vehicles in history. Other early wheeled vehicles include the chariot. River boats are invented, ships with oars. 2000 BC, horses are domesticated and used for transportation. 181 234, the wheelbarrow is invented. 770, iron horseshoes improve transportation by horse. 1492, Leonardo da Vinci first to seriously theorize about flying machines, with over 100 drawings that illustrated his theories on flight. 1620, Cornelis Dreadbull invented the first submarine, a human or submersible. 1662, Blaise Pascal invents the first public bus, horse drawn, regular route, schedule and fair system. 1740, Jacques de Volcanson demonstrates his clockwork-powered carriage. 1783, first practical steamboat demonstrated by Marquis Claude François de Geoffroy Dabins, a paddle-wheel steamboat. 1783, the Montgolfier brothers invent the first hot-air balloons. 1787, steamboat invented. 1769, first self-propelled road vehicle invented by Nicholas Joseph Cugnot. 1790, modern bicycles invented. 1801, Richard Trevithick invented the first steam-powered locomotive, designed for roads. 1807, Isaac de Rivas makes a hydrogen gas-powered vehicle dash. First with internal combustion power, however, it is an unsuccessful design. 1807, first steamboat with regular passenger service, inventor. Robert Fulton's Claremont. 1814, George Stevenson invents the first practical steam powered railroad locomotive. 1862, Jean Lenoyer makes a gasoline engine automobile. 1867, first motorcycle invented. 1868, George Westinghouse invents the compressed air locomotive. Brake, enabled trains to be stopped with failsafe accuracy. 1871, first cable car invented. 1885, Carl Benz builds the world's first practical automobile. To be powered by an internal combustion engine. 1899, Ferdinand von Zeppelin invents the first successful. Dirigible, the Zeppelin. 1903, the Wright brothers invent and fly the first engined airplane. 1907, very first helicopter, unsuccessful design. 1908, Henry Ford improves the assembly line for automobile manufacturing. 1908, hydrofoil boats co invented by Alexander Graham Bell and Casey Baldwin. Boats that skim water. 1926, 
first liquid-propelled rocket launched. 1940, modern helicopters invented. 1947, first supersonic jet flight. 1956, hovercraft invented. 1964, bullet train transportation invented. 1969, first manned mission, Apollo, to the moon. 1970, first jumbo jet. 1981, space shuttle launched. Traffic, is a movement of vehicles along a route where passengers and cargoes are carried by transportation. Elements of street and highway traffic. 1. The road user. 2. The vehicle and its load. 3. The road. Police officers' main functions in traffic. 1. Police traffic directions. 2. Police traffic law enforcement. 3. Police traffic accident investigation. Traffic accident, traffic collision, occurs when a vehicle collides with another vehicle, pedestrian, animal, road debris, or other stationary obstruction, such as a tree or utility pole. Elements of traffic accident. 1. The vehicle involved. 2. The highway. 3. The road user. Causes of traffic accident. 1. Direct causes. The direct causes of an accident are observable by witness and participants, or may be constructed from physical evidence found at the scene. Since a direct cause relates to the action of the human part of the traffic unit, concerned it is a behavior cause, usually only for direct causes are considered an accident investigation. A. Initial behavior, any movement, position, or failure to signal intent to make a traffic maneuver that creates a dangerous situation and is either hazardous, illegal, improper, or unusual may be initial behavior of a nature. Justly term a direct cause of an accident. b. Speed, too fast for conditions is the direct cause of many accidents. c. Delayed perception, is inattention to the major task of operating a motor vehicle, and occurs when the driver is distracted by conversation with other occupants of the car, lighting a cigarette or cigar, looking at a roadway or the scenery, or glancing at occupants of nearby vehicles. d. Faulty evasive action, faulty evasive action always occurs after perception and is the reaction of a driver or pedestrian to a hazardous situation on the highway. 2. Mediate and early causes. These mediate and early causes of an accident are also termed condition causes in formalized accident investigation procedure. Immediate cause of an accident occurs between the early and the direct causes in the time span leading to the accident, but it has a closer relationship to the direct cause than to the early causes. Immediate cause should not be listed unless it explains the direct cause of an accident. Immediate cause of an accident is an irregular or unusual condition of a vehicle, the road, the weather, or of a road user, driver or pedestrian, that explains one of the four direct causes of an accident, initial behavior, speed, delayed perception and faulty evasive action. 3. Early causes. An early cause of an accident results from the act of any individual, or the failure to act by any person, which creates conditions leading to the chain of events, making up an accident. Early cause of an accident is an act or negligence on the part of an individual or an organization which causes or permits immediate cause to exist. Traffic Accident Analysis 1. Condition of the motor vehicles involved in the accident. 2. Condition of the drivers at the time of the accident. 3. Load of the vehicle. 4. Weather condition. 5. 
characteristics of the road, which involves the design, condition, and inhabitants of the place of accident. 6. Presence or absence of traffic sign and its condition. All these factors must be considered in order to fully uncover the reasons of the accident, and thereby provide a factual basis in coming up with a traffic prevention program and traffic plans and programs. Key events in a traffic accident. Key event means the one which characterizes the manner of the occurrence of the traffic accident. It determines the time, place, and type of accident. One point of possible perception is the place and time at which the unusual or unexpected movement or condition could have been perceived by a normal person. Two delay in perception or perception time. It is the time between the point of possible perception and actual perception. Three. Prompt perception, is the perception of hazard which is actually nearly the possible accident. 4. Maximum delayed perception, occurred when the traffic unit does not sense a hazard until he hits another vehicle. 5. Point of no escape, is the place and time after or beyond which the accident cannot be prevented by the traffic unit. Under consideration. 6. Point of impact, is used to mean as the point of initial contact, sometimes it is considered the point of maximum engagement or center of force. 7. Final position, is the place and time when the object involved in the accident finally come to rest without application of power. Traffic actuated signal, is controlled by an individual using his hands and signaling the flow of traffic wherein traffic shall proceed in accordance with the desire of the individual controlling the flow of traffic traffic code also motor vehicle code refers to the collection of local statutes regulations ordinances and rules that have been officially adopted by countries to govern the orderly operation and interaction of motor vehicles bicycles pedestrians and others upon the public and sometimes private ways traffic education comprises all means for public information and the safety education of both drivers and pedestrians as to traffic laws and the use of traffic facilities and inadequate training programs in traffic control throughout the police unit Traffic engineering is a branch of civil engineering that uses engineering techniques to achieve the safe and efficient movement of people and goods on roadways. Functions of traffic engineering 1. Fact-finding surveys and recommendation of traffic rules and regulations. 2. Supervision and maintenance to the application of traffic control devices. Three. Planning of traffic regulations. Objectives of traffic engineering. 1. To achieve efficient, safe, free and rapid flow of traffic. 2. To prevent traffic accidents and casualties. 3. To present the role of traffic engineering in reducing the needs for police action and simplifying police performance. 4. To show that good police action and performance makes engineering plans effective. Traffic investigation, objective. 1. Securing facts upon which to base an accident prevention program. 2. Determining whether or not laws have been violated, gathering evidence which will reveal the road user responsible for the accident, and taking on the scene police action, and 3. Ascertaining the facts so that those involved in accidents can properly exercise claims under our civil law. Traffic Island, a small raised area in the middle of a road which provides a safe place for pedestrians to stand and marks a division between two opposing streams of traffic. Kinds of Traffic Islands 1. Divisional and or pedestrian barrier 2. 
Chanlizing Island. 3. Refuge Island. 4. Rotary Island. Traffic laws are the laws which govern traffic and regulate vehicles. While rules of the road are both the laws and the informal rules that may have developed over time to facilitate the orderly and timely flow of traffic. Traffic law enforcement comprises all police activities in connection with the direction of traffic, regulation and education of drivers. Determine potential offenders, constant patrol, giving of assistance. In the prosecution of offenders, investigation of accidents, follow-up. Complaints, requesting police action, warning, summoning or arrest of. Violators, reporting of road hazards and obstruction. Traffic enforcement action. 1. Detection. 2. Apprehension. 3. Prosecution. 4. Adjudication. 5. Penalization. Enforcement action is usually limited to 1. Verbal or written warning. 2. Summon or citation requiring the offender to appear in court. 3. Arresting traffic violators for traffic violations not attended. 4. Suspension or revocation of license. 5. Payment of fines or civil damages, and 6. Prosecution of criminal offenses in relation to traffic. Traffic lights, a set of automatically operated colored lights, typically red, amber, and green, for controlling traffic at road, junctions, pedestrian crossings, and roundabouts. Traffic light signals, is a power-operated traffic control device by which traffic is warned or directed to take some specific actions. Light, flashing red. 1. This is the same as stop sign. 2. Stop at the designated line. 3. Vehicles will be crossing from the other side. 4. Expect pedestrians to cross at the pedestrian lane. 5. Proceed when clear. Light, flashing yellow. 1. This is the same as a yield sign. 2. Proceed through the intersection with caution. 3. You have the right of way over a flashing red light. 4. Vehicles on the other side will proceed to a full stop. Light, steady green and steady left, right arrow. 1. Vehicles can go straight or vehicles on the left lane can make a left turn. 2. Vehicles can go straight or vehicles on the right lane can make a right turn. 3. The right green signal might or might not have a road sign. Disallowing a right turn while the red lights is on. Traffic management, it comprises all public surfaces, facilities, and agencies having responsibility for licensing, approving, maintaining and controlling the flow of traffic and the use of traffic facilities. Traffic patrol. Traffic patrol refers to the observation of road conditions, the behavior of the drivers and other users of vehicles for the purpose of traffic supervision and law enforcement, and providing authorized traffic-connected services to the public. Purpose of traffic patrol. 1. Deterrent to violations and dangerous driving. 2. Detecting and apprehending violators. 3. Observing and reporting traffic conditions. 4. Observing and reporting road conditions, including view. Obstruction which needs attention. 5. Providing certain services to the public. Types, kinds of traffic patrol. 1. Line patrol, conducts observation either in moving or Stationary observation at a certain route or point of a major street in a city. 2. Area patrol, conduct observation either by moving patrol or stationary observation in a certain area, which included a number of streets, roads or sections of a highway. 3. Stationary observation, observation of traffic conditions of a selected place, 
usually one with unfavorable accident. Experiences for traffic law supervision. Stationary observation. May be conspicuous, visible or concealed, depending upon the location of the patrol unit in relation to the street under observation. 4. Conspicuous observation, stationary observation in which the observer remains in full review of traffic conditions. 5. Visible observation, stationary observation in which observer is full view but so located, for example, at side street, so as to require effort on the part of traffic users to discover the observer. 6. Concealed observation, stationary observation in which the observer is not visible to persons using ordinary power of observation from the roadway being observed. Traffic signs, a device mounted on a fixed or portable means of words or symbols, officially created and installed for the purpose of regulating, warning and guiding traffic. Types of traffic signs. 1. Regulatory signs, are intended to inform road users of special obligations, instructions or prohibitions which must comply. A round shape is used for regulatory signs with exception of stop and yield signs. 2. Warning signs, are intended to warn road users of danger on the road and to inform them of its nature. These signs have an equilateral triangular shape with one sign horizontal. 3. Guide or informative signs, are intended to guide road users while they are traveling or to provide them with other useful information. Types of guide signs. 1. Route markings, is usually found on highways composed of several lanes which are going into different direction. 2. Destination and distance signs, is usually erected on highway informing the motorist as to the number of kilometers and at which way to take going to its place of destination. 3. Information signs, is usually erected on highway which informs the motorist of the establishments in the era, such hospitals, restaurants, restrooms, hotels, and other Establishments which provide services to motorists. Transfer evidence, it is an evidence found at the accident scene. That will connect to the suspected vehicle and with the crime scene. Special Crime Investigation Reviewer. Definition of Terms. Definition of Terms. Admission, any statement of fact made by a party which is against his interest or unfavorable to the conclusion for which he contends, or inconsistent with the facts alleged by him. AFIS, Automated Fingerprint Identification System, AFIS, is a biometric identification, ID, methodology that uses digital imaging technology to obtain, store, and analyze fingerprint data. Amateur Intermittent Offender these types of robbers view themselves as lifetime robbers and commits infrequent robbery offenses, often recklessly. Armed robbery, this involves the use of weapons such as firearm, a knife or other dangerous weapons. Animus lucrandi, means intent to gain, in robbery. Beings mutables, in robbery, means personal property belonging to another. Arrest, the legal taking of a person into a custody in order that he may be bound to answer for the commission of an offense. Arrest warrant, an order in writing issued in the name of the Philippines commanding or directing a peace officer to arrest the person described therein then brings it before the court. The warrant of arrest is to be served within a statutory period of 10 days. The warrant of arrest validity continues unless 1. Recalled by the issuing court. 2. The respondent has been arrested. 3. Respondent voluntarily submitted himself. Arson, 
an act of willfully and maliciously damaging or destroying a building or other property by fire or explosion. Autopsy, known as a post-mortem examination, necropsy, autopsia. Cadaverum, or abduction, is a highly specialized surgical procedure that consists of a thorough examination of a corpse to determine the cause and manner of death and to evaluate any disease or injury that may be present, accused, a person whose case was forwarded to the office of the prosecutor and filed in court. Baseline, a method of locating object, particularly useful in in large, irregularly shaped outdoor areas. Confession, an express acknowledgement by the accused in a criminal prosecution of the truth of his guilt as to the offense charged, while admission refers to statements of fact not directly constituting an acknowledgement of guilt. Corpus delicti, Latin for the body of the crime. Crime, a generic term referring to many types of misconduct. Forbidden by law. Crime scene, a venue or place where the alleged crime slash incident slash event has been committed. Criminal, a person who is convicted by final judgment. Criminalist, the officer responsible for recording a crime scene and recognizing and preserving physical evidence. Criminal investigation, the collection of facts in order to accomplish the threefold aims to identify the guilty party, to locate the guilty party, and to provide evidence of his suspect guilt. Criminal investigator, a well trained, disciplined, and experienced professional in the field of criminal investigation. Criminal law, one that defines crimes, treats of their nature, and provides for their punishment. Crime scene, the geographical area where the crime was committed. Crime scene sketch, a simple diagram that creates a mental pictures of the scene to those who are not present. Rough sketch, the first pencil drawn outline of the scene. And the location of objects and evidence within this outline. DNA profiling, also called DNA testing, DNA typing, or genetic. Fingerprinting, is a technique employed by forensic scientists to assist in the identification of individuals by their respective DNA profiles. DNA fingerprinting, is a test to identify and evaluate the genetic information, called DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, of a person's cells. Early Techniques of Crime Investigation Archimedes, 287-212 BC, invented a method for determining the Volume of an object with an irregular shape. Book of Zayu on Lu, the first written account of using medicine and entomology to solve criminal cases. Carl Wilhelm Scheele, he devised in 1773 a method for detecting arsenic oxide, simple arsenic, in corpses. Henry Goddard, at Scotland Yard, pioneered the use of bullet comparison in 1835. Alphonse Bertillon, was the first to apply the anthropological technique of anthropometry to law enforcement, thereby creating an identification system based on physical measurements. Sir William Herschel, was one of the first to advocate the use of fingerprinting in the identification of criminal suspects. English Constable, early recorded professional criminal investigator. Evidence, the means by which facts are proved. Forcible rape, sexual intercourse carried out against a person's will. By the use of physical violence. Four basic techniques that can be used to measure a crime scene. 1. Rectangular, coordinate system. 2. Baseline, station line. 3. Triangulation, trilateration. 4. Azimuth, polar coordinates. Azimuth, uses polar coordinates. This method requires two people, one to hold each end of a tape measure. This type of measuring convention is best suited for a large open areas where 
there might not be any fixed reference points. A known starting point must be established in your scene which might require pounding in a stake. That point is located by using a handheld GPS, global positioning system, a large protractor or some other type of board marked with a circle and degree increments is used. The zero location on the board is oriented toward magnetic north. Triangulation is a method that can be used when the scene is irregularly shaped. Two control points are used for this method. High grading, selling information, the general term referring to the knowledge acquired by a criminal investigator from various sources, data gathered by an investigator from other persons including the victim himself and other sources. Instrumentation, the application of instrument and method of physical science in the detection and investigation of crime. Interview, the simple friendly questioning of people who have the information officially needed by investigators. Interrogation, the vigorous or regressive questioning of person suspected of having committed an offense or a person who is reluctant or willing to make a full disclosure of information in his possessions, which is pertinent to the investigation of a criminal case. Investigation, the collection of basic facts establishing that a crime has been committed and that some other person is responsible thereof. Castle Meyer Test is a presumptive blood test, first described in 1903, in which the chemical indicator phenolphthalein is used to detect the possible presence of hemoglobin. Miranda Doctrine, the principle on the rights of a suspect against forced self-incrimination during police interrogation. Modus operandi, methods of operation, modes of operation, manner of committing the crime, murder-suicide, an act in which an individual kills one or more other persons immediately before or at the same time as him or herself, phenomena, a circumstance, event or occurrence as it actually exists or existed, photography, the most reliable means of preserving the crime scene, or evidence, political terrorists, the use of force or the fear of force to achieve a political end. Power reassurance rapist, the rapist who psychologically doubt his masculinity and seeks to dispel this doubt by exercising power and control over women. Professional robber, this characterized as having a long-term commitment to crime as a source of livelihood, planning and organizing crimes before committing them and pursuing money to support a particular lifestyle. Raw 7438, an act defining certain rights of person under custodial investigation. Raw 8353, the anti-rape law of 1997. Raw 9514, the fire code of the Philippines. Rectangular a method of obtaining measurement to locate an object by making a measurement at right angles from each of two walls works well for indoor measurements special crime investigation the investigation of cases that are unique and often require special training to fully understand their broad significance spectrometry modern detection method of alcohol and drugs suspect a person arrested for a crime. Terrorism, the unlawful use of threat of violence against person or property to further political or social objectives. Threefold aim of criminal investigation. 1. Identify the perpetrator. 2. Locate the perpetrator. 3. Provide evidence. Triangulation, method of locating object where measurements are taken from two fixed points at the scene to the object you desire to locate. Organized Crime Investigation Review Questions 1. 1. He founded the MNLF. A. Hashim Sulamat. B. Nirmaswari. C. Jose Maria Sisson. 
Diabu Sabaya. 2. The Compromise Agreement to Establish the Autonomous Region in Bangsamoro Land. A. Tripoli Agreement. B. Treaty of Paris. C. Bangsamoro Law Agreement. D. None of the above. 3. Javida Massacre took place in what island? A. Aklan. B. Corregidor. C. Sulu. D. Basilan. 4. It literally means Islamic congregation, it is a Southeast Asian militant Islamist terrorist organization dedicated to the establishment of Adala Islamiyya, regional Islamic Caliphate in Southeast Asia. A. Taliban. B. Abu Sayyif. C. Boko Haram. D. Jemma Islamiyya. 5. It is an Islamic fundamentalist political movement in Afghanistan. It is founded by Mullah Muhammad Omar Mijahid. A. Taliban. B. Abu Sayyif. C. Boko Haram. D. Jemma Islamiyya. 6. It literally means father and swordsmith, is a militant Islamist. Group based in and around Jolo and Basilan, Philippines. A. Milf. B. Amenilef. C. Abu Sayyif. D. Bif. 7. It means Western education is forbidden, is an Islamist terrorist. Movement based in Northeast Nigeria. A. Taliban. B. Abu Sayyif. C. Boko Haram. D. Jemma Islamiyya. 8. It means the base, is a global militant Islamist organization. Founded by Osama bin Laden and other militants. A. Taliban. B. Al Qaeda. C. Boko Haram. D. Jemma Islamiyya. 9. It is an Islamic extremist rebel group controlling territory in Iraq and Syria, with operations in Lebanon, Libya, the Sinai, Peninsula of Egypt and other areas of the Middle East. A. ISIS. B. Al-Qaeda. C. Boko Haram. D. Jemma Islamiyya. 10. It literally means the youth, is a jihadist terrorist group. Based in Somalia. A. ISIS. B. Al-Qaeda. C. Boko Haram. D. Al-Shabaab. Answer. 1. B. 2. B. 3. B. 4. D. 5. A. 6. C. 7. C. 8. B. 9. A. 10. D. Organized Crime Investigation Review Questions 2. 1. It is a street gang and organized crime group with origins in the Philippines. The gang was formed in the early 1940s among Filipino inmates in large and dangerous Manila correctional facilities. Members' value of fatalism is that it didn't really matter what one did if it was against you. A. Kubahe Gang. B. Bahulanao Gang. C. Kuratong Bay Leelan. D. Martilio Gang. 2. It is an organized crime syndicate in the Philippines that once was an anti-communist vigilante group. A. Akitbahe Gang. B. Bahulanao Gang. C. Kuratong Bay Leelan. D. Martilio Gang. 3. This gang is notoriously known for robbing jewelry shops and uses wrench, hammer and other tools to smash store windows. A. Akitbahe Gang. B. Bahulanao Gang. C. Kuratong Bay Leelan. D. Martilio Gang. 4. The conman or woman suddenly hugs the victim like their old friends. With a knife poked on his side, victim is ordered to quietly turn over cash and other valuables. A modus operandi. Of what criminal gang? A. Akitbahe Gang. B. Salizai Gang. C. Adovan Gang. D. Martilio Gang. 5. Two cohorts falsely accuse victim of stealing. Naturally denying. It, victim is asked to show proof of character.
once he fishes. Out an ID card from the wallet, the gang men grab the money and scram. And mo of what criminal gang? A Akidbahe gang. B Salizai gang. C Adavan gang. D Martilio gang. 6. 3 to 4 males and females befriend a lone tourist. After gaining his confidence, they tour him around, then invite him to dine in their shanty. Then a potent sleeping pill is slipped into the drink. The drug victim is stripped of belongings, then dumped in a secluded place. A modus operandi of what criminal gang? A Akitbahe gang. B. Salizai gang. C. Adovan gang. D. Martilio gang. 7. A woman seducing the victim, then drugging him in the hotel room. Most victims are knocked out for days learning later all of his, her. Belongings are gone. Committed usually by what criminal gang? A. Akitbahe gang. B. Salizai gang. C. Adovan gang. D. Martilio gang. 8. This gang operates in threes or fours. Victim is shoved into distraction, while his pocket is picked or mobile snatched. The usually operates in buses, trains and stations and crowded areas. A. Tutakkalet gang. B. Salizai gang. C. I. Pit gang. D. Dalmda gang. 9. The conman or woman suddenly hugs the victim like they're old friends. With a knife poked on his side, victim is ordered to quietly turn over cash and other valuables. This mo is committed by what criminal gang? A. Tutakkalet gang. B. Salizai gang. C. I. Pit gang. D. Dalmda gang. 10. Perpetrators are courteous and well-dressed, with props like attaché case or jewelry to look businesslike and affluent. They pick out a victim who is so engrossed in talk or texting to leave belongings untended. In swift motion they swipe the bag or laptop, and casually leave. A modus operandi committed by what? Criminal gang? A. Tutakkalet gang. B. Salizai gang. C. I. Pit gang. D. Dalmda gang. Answer. 1. B. 2. C. 3. D. 4. B. 5. B. 6. C. 7. C. 8. C. 9. A. 10. B. Drug Education and Vice Control. Definition of Terms. 1875, in San Francisco, California, enacted an ordinance which banned the smoking of opium in opium dens. 1919, the prohibition of alcohol commenced in Finland. 1920, the prohibition of alcohol commenced in the United States. 1974, the Interagency Committee on Drug Prevention Education was created and played vital role in the integration of drug abuse, prevention concepts and social actions programs. 1979, the first international non-governmental organization conference was held in Jakarta, Indonesia, followed by the second which was held from November 3rd to 8, 1980 at Manila. After the second conference, the Philippine Council of Non-Governmental Organization was organized. 1988, the United Nations Convention Against Illicit Traffic in Narcotics, Drugs and Psychotropic Substances was held further bolstering anti-drug laws. Addiction, a person has an addiction when he becomes dependent on or craves a drug and believes he needs the drug to live. All an addicted. Drug user can think about is getting the next dose after getting high. Classification of commonly used drugs. Psychoactive drugs, these are often described as a psychotropic. Mind affecting, 
or mind-altering drugs. It is a chemical substance that changes one's thinking, feelings, perceptions and behaviors. A. Depressants, they are drugs that affect the central nervous system causing it to relax. Common types of depressants. 1. Narcotics, refers to any drugs which produces insensibility. Stupor, melancholy or dullness of mind with delusion and which may be habit forming. 2. Barbiturates, drugs that affect the central nervous system, causing sedation. 3. Tranquilizers, are drugs which relieves uncomfortable emotional feelings by reducing anxiety and promoting relaxation. 4. Alcohol, fermented or distilled liquids or drug containing ethanol and intoxicating substances. 5. Solvents and inhalants, volatile liquids that give off a vapor, which is inhaled producing short-term excitement. And euphoric followed by a period of disorientation. Its effect includes nausea, sneezing, coughing, nosebleeds, fatigue, lack of coordination and loss of appetite. B. Stimulants, chemical substances that generally speed up central nervous system function, resulting in alertness and excitability. Common types of stimulants. 1. Cocaine, a natural stimulant derived from the plant. Erythroxylin coca. 2. Methamphetamine, amphetamine, man-made stimulants drugs. 3. Caffeine, a stimulant found in coffee. 4. Nicotine. An addictive substance usually obtained from cigarette smoking. C. Hallucinogen, psychedelics, sometimes known as all rounders. And mind expanders. These drugs affect the person. Perceptions, awareness, emotions, and can also cause hallucinations as well as illusions. Common types of hallucinogens 1. Marijuana. 2. Lysergic acid diethylamide. 3. Ecstasy. 4. PCP, psilocybin mushroom and peyote. Cocaine, is a stimulant of the central nervous system and an appetite. Suppressant, giving rise to what has been described as a euphoric. Sense of happiness and increased energy. It is a quick acting drug. Whose effects are rapid from the time of intake. It is legally used in medicine as a topical anesthetic, specifically in the eye, nose and throat surgery. It is a crystallinotropane alkaloid that is derived from the leaves of the coca plant known as erythroxylin. Alexander Bennett, he discovered the first medical use of cocaine in 1873 as anesthetic. 1879 Cocaine was used to treat morphine addiction. 1884, cocaine was introduced into clinical use as anesthetic. In Germany. 1970, cocaine gained popularity as a recreational drug. Medellin and Cali Cartel, were founded in Colombia to meet the new demand for cocaine. The Cali Cartel became the number one cocaine trafficker after the death of Pablo Escobar. Pablo Escobar, the founder of the Medellin cartel who was killed by the police in late 1993. Chemicals, is any substance taken into the body, which alters the way, the mind and the body work. Chemical abuse, is an instance when the use of a chemical has produced a negative or harmful consequence. Codeine, methylmorphine is an opiate used for its analgesic, antidusive and antidiarrheal properties. It is marketed as the salt codeine sulfate and codeine phosphate. It is also often used as recreational drugs. This is primarily because of its easy availability over the counter or on prescription in combination of products. Dangerous drugs are those that have high tendency for abuse and dependency. These substances may be organic or synthetic, and pose 
harm to those who use them. Dangerous Drugs Act of 1972, marked the government assurance to strict policy against drug abuse. The act was subsequently amended through Presidential Degree No. 44. Dangerous Drug Board was created to implement the provisions of the Dangerous Drug Act as the national policy-making body and deal with other related matters on drug abuse, prevention and control. Dangerous Drugs Board is the policy-making and strategy formulating body under the office of the president in the planning and formulation of policies and programs on drug prevention and control. The late President Ferdinand E. Marcos organized the Dangerous Drugs Board on November 14, 1972 under the office of the President. National agencies forming part of the Dangerous Drugs Board. 1. DOE, Department of Health. 2. DSWD, Department of Social Welfare and Development. 3. DEEKS, Department of Education, Culture and Sports. 4. DOJ, Department of Justice. 5. DND, Department of National Defense. 6. DOF, Department of Finance. 7. DILG, Department of the Interior and Local Government. 8. Dole, Department of Labor and Employment. 9. DFA, Department of Foreign Affairs. 10. Dodged, Commission on Higher Education. 11. NYC, National Youth Commission. 12. DIA, Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency. Permanent Consultants of the DDB. 1. Director of the NBI. 2. Chief of the Plug and Play. 2. Regular members of the DDB. 1. President of the IBP, Integrated Bar of the Philippines. 2. Chairman or President of a non-government organization. Involved in dangerous drug campaign to be appointed by the President of the Philippines. A Plan I Was Droga, is the national flagship program on drug abuse prevention launched by the DDB in 1995. Barkati Contra Droga is a peer-based program designed as a preventive education and information strategy to counter the dangers and disastrous effects of drug abuse. It aims to empower individuals to be catalysts within their peer groups in advocating healthy, drug-free lifestyles through involvement in various wholesome activities. IDADN, Integrated Drug Abuse Data and Information Network is an online drug data pooling and collection system that allows better management and assessment of the overall drug demand and supply reduction efforts undertaken by the government. DDB Dial, DDB Drug Information Action Line, is an action center created to receive reports and complaints related to drug abuse as well as to provide relevant information and assistance to the public. Kid Listo is a mascot created to stand as an icon or representation of the drug abuse prevention program. Kid means Kulibran Ngiilgul Nadroga. It was brought to different schools and communities all over the country to promote the antidrug advocacy. Five Pillar Global Drug Control Approach 1. Drug Supply Reduction 2. Drug Demand Reduction 3. Alternative Development 4. Civic Awareness and Response 5. Regional and International Cooperation Dangerous Drugs Board Certification is issued to attest that substance, as manufactured or imported by companies are not included in the list of dangerous drugs and controlled precursors and essential chemicals. Certificate of Exemption is issued to exempt products or preparations containing dangerous drugs and or controlled substances that are below and above the 30% threshold from certain regulatory control measures.
dependency, is the state of physical and psychological dependence. Or both, on a dangerous drug, or drugs, experienced by a person. Following the use of that substance on a periodic or continuous basis. Depressant, a depressant is a drug that slows a person down. Doctors. Prescribe depressants to help people be less angry, anxious, or tense. Depressants relax muscles and make people feel sleepy or like their head are stuffed. Drugs are chemicals that affect a person in such a way as to bring about physiological, emotional, or behavioral change. Drug abuse is a patterned use of a substance, drug, in which the user consumes the substance in amounts or with methods which are harmful to themselves or others. Drug abuse exists when a person continually uses a drug other than its intended purpose. This continued use can lead to drug addiction and dependency. General Signs and Symptoms of Drug Abuse 1. Unexpected Changes of Behavior 2. Significant Deterioration of Grooming 3. Continually wear long sleeve clothing to hide injection marks 4. Wearing of sunglasses in appropriate time. 5. Weight loss not attributed to proper physical exercises. 6. Association with persons who are known drug abusers. 7. Unusual spending of money. Drug addiction, a state of periodic or chronic, continuous. Intoxication, drunk, detrimental to individual and to the society produced by the repeated consumption of drugs. Drug addiction refers to the behavioral condition where an individual's need to obtain and use, especially, self-administer. Drugs becomes a strong fixation. Drug addiction is a complex, and often chronic, brain disease. It is characterized by excessive drug craving, seeking, and use. Addiction is caused by brain changes caused by constant drug use. Drug dependence, a state of psychic or physical dependence, or both. On dangerous drugs, arising in a person following administration or use of a drug on a periodic or continuous basis. Drug dependence describes the state when an individual is dependent upon the drug for normal physiological functioning drug experimenter one who illegally wrongfully or improperly uses any narcotic substances marijuana or dangerous drugs as defined not more than a few times for reasons of curiosity peer pressure or other similar reasons drug syndicate it is a network of evil it is operated and manned by willful criminals who knowingly traffic human lives for the money. Large sum of money, they can make in their illegal and nefarious trade. The set results of their commerce are physical and mental cripples. Ruined lives, even agonizing death. Ecstasy, in 1912 MDMA or methylnodeoxymptomphetamine was developed. In Germany as an appetite depressant by the pharmaceutical company. Merck. During the late 1970s psychiatrists and psychologists used the drugs as treatment for emotional and psychological disorders. Among the youth users referred it as the sex drugs. In its purest form, it is crystalline substance white powder with mastic odor. Enabling is any action taken by a concerned person that removes or softens the negative effect or harmful consequences of drug use upon the user. Enabling only makes things worse. It is like fighting fire with gasoline. Facility-based, treatment-based data, are data gathered from the residential and outpatient treatment and rehabilitation centers in the Philippines. Hallucinogen, a hallucinogen is a drug, such as LSD, that changes a person's mood and makes him see, hear, or think things that aren't really there. Hallucinogens change the way a person feels time. 
making it seem to slow down. As the name implies, hallucinogens may cause hallucinations, this is when people think they see or hear imaginary people or things. Harrison Act, passed in 1914, which required sellers of opiates and cocaine to procure license. Originally intended to require paper trails of drug transactions between doctors, drug stores and patients, it soon became a prohibitive law. Hashish, it is the dark brown resin that is collected from the tops of potent cannabis sativa. It is at least five times stronger than crude marijuana. Since it is stronger, the effect on the user is more intense. And the possibility of side effects is greater. Placing the crude plant material in a solvent makes it the plant materials then filtered out and the solvent is removed yielding a gummy resinous substance heroin is also known as diacetyl morphine is a semi-synthetic opiate it mimics endorphins and creates a sense of well-being upon entering the bloodstream usually through intravenous injection it is widely used as an illegal drug for its intense euphoria, which often disappears with increased tolerance. High, a high is the feeling that drug users want to get when they take drugs. There are many types of high, including the spacey feeling, euphoria, or a feeling that a person has special powers, such as the ability to fly or see into the future. Lebanon also became the transit country for cocaine from South America to illicit drugs markets. Marijuana, obtained from an Indian hemp plant known as cannabis sativa. A strong, handy, annual shrub which grows wild in temperature and tropic regions. A mind-altering substance produced from cannabis sativa. It is used because its primary active chemical tetrahydrocannabinol. THC, induces relaxation and heightens the senses. Cannabis is prepared for human consumption in different forms. 1. Marijuana or ganja, the leaves and flowering tops of female plants. 2. Hashish ortras, a concentrated resin composed of glandular trichomes and vegetative debris that has been physically extracted, usually by rubbing sifting or with ice. 3. Kith or keef, the chopped flowering tops of female cannabis. Plants, often mixed with tobacco, Moroccan hashish produced. In the Rif Mountains, sifted cannabis trichomes consisting of only the glandular heads often incorrectly referred to as crystals or pollen. 4. Bang a beverage prepared by grinding cannabis leaves in milk and boiling with spices and other ingredients. 5. Hash oil, an oily mixture resulting from chemical extraction or distillation of the THC-rich part of the plant. 6. Butter, hash oil whipped to incorporate air, making it more like butter. Methods, apparatus in smoking marijuana. 1. The joint. 2. The blunt. 3. The hookah. 4. The bong, is a tube with a small bowl at the end of a thinner tube inserted through the side near the base. 5. The waterfall. 6. The pipe. 7. The shotgun. 8. The chillum. 9. The one-hitter or bat is a contrivance that allows the small amount of cannabis to be burned and inhaled in a single breath. Middle East, the Beska Valley of Lebanon is considered to be the biggest producer of cannabis in the Middle East. Morphine, is a strong opiate analgesic drug and is the principal active agent in opium. It acts directly on the central nervous system, relieving pain. It is claimed to be six, six, times more potent than opium. It is administered into the body by means of injection. It is 
used legally as an analgesic in hospital setting to relieve pain. After surgery and pain associated with trauma. Most commonly used, abused substances in the Philippines. 1. Methamphetamine hydrochloride, shabu. 2. Cannabis sativa or marijuana. 3. Inhalants, contact cement. Motbok, an alcohol rationing system with personal ration record book. Employed by Sweden from 1914 to 1955. Narcotics, is any drug that produces sleep or stupor and relieves. Pain due to its depressant effect on the central nervous system. A. Term narcotic comes from the Greek word for sleep narcotikos. Opium, obtained from a female poppy plant known as Pepe or Somniferum. It comes from the Greek word which means juice. It is the original. Components of morphine and heroin. It was known to be cultivated in Lower Mesopotamia long ago as 3400 BC. In the Medicina, 30 AD, Aulus. Cornelius Celsus specified various uses for poppy tears as an emollient for painful joints and anal crevices, in anodynes pills, promoting relief of pain through sleep. Opium preparation, the smoking of opium does not involve the burning of the material as might be imagined. The prepared opium is indirectly heated to temperature at which active alkaloids, mainly morphine, are vaporized. Opium chemical properties and physiological effects, opium, includes two groups of alkaloids, phenanthrins including morphine and codeine, and benzosequinolines, including papaverin. Opium medical uses, opium has been a major commodity of trade for centuries, due to the fact that it has long been used as a painkiller and sedative. Presidential Proclamation No. 1192, declared the second week of November as Drug Abuse Prevention and Control Week, and celebrated every year. Physical Dependence, an adaptive state caused by repeated drug use that reveals itself by development of intense physical symptoms when the drug is stopped, withdrawal syndrome. Polydrug abuse, many people who abuse on drug tend to take all sorts of drugs. Some play chemical Russian roulettes by taking everything, including unidentified pills. This is called polydrug abuse. Psychological dependence, an attachment to drug use which arises from a drug ability to satisfy some emotional or personality need of an individual. Physical dependence not required but it does not seem to reinforce psychological dependence. RA 9165, commonly known as the Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002. It took effect on July 4, 2002. Dangerous Drugs Board, DDB continues as policy-making body, and it formed the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency, PDEA, as the lead agency in the enforcement of the law under the office of the President. The new law abolished the National Drug Law Enforcement and Prevention Coordinating Center, the Plug-and-Play Narcotics Group, the NBI Narcotics Unit in the Customs Narcotics Interdiction Office. Establishing the proper intelligence network has been inherent. Task given by the law to PDEA in coordination with the following. Support units, the plug and play AIDSOTF, the NBI AIDF, the Customs Task. Force and dangerous drugs and controlled chemicals along with. Other government and non-government entities dedicated to curb. The drug problem. National strategies against dangerous drugs. 1. Supply Reduction Strategy, which refers to the concept of keeping the drugs away from the potential drug users. Intended Programs a. Law Enforcement b. Amendments of the Law 2. Demand Reduction Strategy, refers to the concept of keeping the 
Potential Users Away From Drugs Intended Programs A. Preventive Education B. Sports Development C. Moral and Spiritual Values Recovery D. Treatment and Rehabilitation 3. International and Local Cooperation Coordination refers to an effective and efficient cooperation and coordination of all local and international agencies of the government. Intended programs A. Joint training and exercises B. Intelligence networking C. Interdiction operation Rehabilitation is a dynamic process directed towards the changes on the health of the person to prepare him from his fullest life potentials and capabilities and making him law-abiding and productive member of a community without abusing drugs shabu methamphetamine was discovered in japan in 1919 this crystalline powder is soluble in water making it an ideal drug for injection during world war ii the drugs was used as stimulants for combat soldiers after the war it was regarded as a cure-all for treatment in mild depression and a good weight control substance in the mid 80s it was introduced in the philippines and has gained popularity not only in urban areas but rural communities as well it is also regarded as poor man's cocaine stimulant a stimulant speeds up a person's body and brain stimulants such as methamphetamines have the opposite effect of depressants usually stimulants make a person high energetic when the effects of a stimulant wear off a person will feel tired or sick tetrahydrocannabinol thc it is the psychoactive agent of marijuana the more THC present in marijuana, the more potent is the drug. It is also known as the sinister element in marijuana. This is what causes the high lift or trip in marijuana users. The Golden Crescent 1. Afghanistan 2. Pakistan 3. Iran 4. India The Golden Triangle of Drug Trafficking 1. Laos 2. Thailand 3. Burma Tolerance, it is the increasing dosage of drugs to maintain the same effect. Treatment, is a medical service rendered to a client for the effective management of hit total conditions related to drug abuse. It deals with the physiological without abusing drugs. Withdrawal period from the point of habituation or drug dependence up to the time a drug dependent is totally or gradually deprived of the drug fire technology and arson investigation three state of matter solid liquid gas four general categories of heat energy chemical heat energy electrical heat energy mechanical heat energy Nuclear heat energy. Backdraft, a phenomenon in which a fire that has consumed all available oxygen suddenly explodes when more oxygen is made available, typically because a door or window has been opened. Boiling point, the temperature of a substance where the rate of evaporation exceeds the rate of condensation. British thermal unit, BDU, the amount of heat needed to raise the Temperature of 1 pound of water 1 degree F. Fahrenheit. Calorie, the amount of heat needed to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water 1 degree centigrade. Centigrade, Celsius, on the centigrade scale, 0 is the melting point of ice, 100 degrees is the boiling point of water. Chemical heat energy. Heat of combustion, the amount of heat generated by the combustion oxidation process heat of decomposition the release of heat from decomposing compounds these compounds may be unstable and release their heat very quickly or they may detonate heat of solution 
the heat released by the mixture of matter. In a liquid, some acids, when dissolved, give off sufficient heat to pose exposure problems to nearby combustibles. Spontaneous heating, the heating of an organic substance. Without the addition of external heat, spontaneous heating occurs most frequently where sufficient air is not present. To dissipate the heat produced, the speed of a heating reaction doubles with each 180 F 80 C temperature increase. Classification of fires Class A fire, fires involving ordinary combustible materials, such as wood, cloth, paper, rubber and many plastics. Class B fires, fires involving flammable liquids, greases, and gases. Class C fires, fires involving energized electrical equipment. Class D fires, fires involving combustible metals, such as magnesium, titanium, zirconium, sodium and potassium. Class K fires, Class K is a new classification of fire as of 1998 and involves fires in combustible cooking fuels such as vegetable or animal fats. Combustion is the self-sustaining process of rapid oxidation of a fuel being reduced by an oxidizing agent along with the evolution of heat and light. Dry chemicals and halons, method of fire extinguishment, interrupt. The flame producing chemical reaction, resulting in rapid extinguishment. Electrical heat energy. Dielectric heating, the heating that results from the action of either pulsating direct current or alternating current at high frequency on a non conductive material. Heat from arcing, heat released either as a high temperature arc or as molten material from the conductor. Heat generated by lightning, the heat generated by the discharged of thousands of volts from either earth to cloud, cloud to cloud or from cloud to ground. Induction heating, the heating of materials resulting from an alternating current flow causing a magnetic field influence. Leakage current heating, the heat resulting from imperfect or improperly insulated electrical materials. This is particularly evident where the insulation is required to handle high voltage or loads near maximum capacity. Resistance heating, the heat generated by passing an electrical force through a conductor such as a wire or an appliance. Static electricity heating, heat released as an arc between oppositely charged surfaces. Static electricity can be generated by the contact and separation of charged surfaces or by fluids flowing through pipes endothermic heat reaction a chemical reaction where a substance absorbs heat energy exothermic heat reaction a chemical reaction where a substance gives off heat energy fahrenheit on the fahrenheit scale 32 degrees is the melting point of ice 212 degrees is the boiling point of water. Fire point, the temperature at which a liquid fuel will produce. Vapors sufficient to support combustion once ignited. The fire point is usually a few degrees above the flash point. Fire triangle, oxygen, fuel, heat. Fire National Training Institute, FNTI, the institution for training on human resource development of all personnel of the Bureau of Fire Protection BFP Flame, a gas phased combustion Flammable or explosive limit, the percentage of a substance in air that will burn once it is ignited. Most substances have an upper too rich, and a lower, too lean, flammable limit. Flashover an instance of a fire spreading very rapidly across a gap because of intense heat occurs when a room or other area becomes heated to the point where flames flash over the entire surface or area. Flash point, the minimum temperature at which a liquid fuel gives off sufficient vapors to form an ignitable mixture with the air near 
the surface. At this temperature, the ignited vapors will flash, but will not continue to burn. Fuel is the material or substance being oxidized or burned in the combustion process. Material such as coal, gas, or oil that is burned to produce heat or power. Fuel removal, method of fire extinguishment, fire is effectively extinguished by removing the fuel source. This may be accomplished by stopping the flow of liquid or gaseous fuel or by removing solid fuel in the path of the fire or allow the fire to burn until all fuel is consumed. Glowing combustion, a condensed phased combustion. Heat, the quality of being hot, high temperature. A form of energy. Arising from the random motion of the molecules of bodies, which may be transferred by conduction, convection, or radiation. Heating, is transfer of energy, from a hotter body to a colder one. Other than by work or transfer of matter. Heat of combustion. The amount of heat generated by the combustion. Oxidation, process. Heat transfer. Conduction. Conduction is the transfer of energy through matter from particle to particle. Heat may be conducted from one body to another by direct contact of the two bodies or by an intervening heat conducting medium. Convection is the transfer of heat by the actual movement of the warmed matter. Transfer of heat by the movement of air or liquid. Radiation, electromagnetic waves that directly transport energy through space. Ignition temperature, the minimum temperature to which a fuel in air must be heated in order to start self-sustained combustion independent of the heating source. Heat, the form of energy that raises temperature. Heat is measured by the amount of work it does. Heat of decomposition, the release of heat from decomposing compounds. These compounds may be unstable and release their heat very quickly or they may detonate. Heat of solution, the heat released by the mixture of matter in a liquid. Some acids, when dissolved, give off sufficient heat to pose exposure problems to nearby combustibles. Mechanical heat energy. Frictional heat, the heat generated by the movement between two objects in contact with each other. Friction sparks, the heat generated in the form of sparks from solid objects striking each other. Most often, at least one of the objects is metal. Heat of compression, the heat generated by the forced reduction of a gaseous volume. Diesel engines ignite fuel vapor without a spark plug by the use of this principle. Nuclear fission and fusion, the heat generated by either the splitting or combining of atoms. Oxidation, the complex chemical reaction of organic material with oxygen or other oxidizing agents in the formation of more stable compounds. Oxidizing agents are those materials that yield oxygen or other oxidizing gases during the course of a chemical reaction. Oxygen dilution is the reduction of the oxygen concentration to the fire area. Phases of fire. Incipient phase, growth stage. Free burning phase, fully developed stage. Smoldering phase, decay stage. Products of combustion. Fire gases. Flame. Heat. Smoke. Pyrolysis, also known as thermal decomposition, is defined as the chemical decomposition of matter through the action of heat. Raw 6975 created the BFP. Bureau of Fire Protection, BFP, administers and enforces the fire code of the Philippines. The Fire Bureau shall have the power to investigate all causes of fires and, if necessary, file the proper complaints with the city or provincial prosecutor who has jurisdiction over the case. Chief of the Fire Bureau, rank is Director. 
Deputy Chief for Administration of the Fire Bureau, second. Highest officer in the BFP. Rank is Chief Superintendent. Deputy Chief for Operation of the Fire Bureau, the third. Highest officer in the BFP. Rank is Chief Superintendent. Chief of Directorial Staff of the Fire Bureau, fourth highest. Officer in the BFP. Rank is Chief Superintendent. Directors of the Directorates in the respective National Headquarters Office, rank is Senior Superintendent. Regional Director for Fire Protection, the BFP, shall establish, operate and maintain their respective regional offices in each of the administrative regions of the country, rank is Senior Superintendent. He or she shall be respectively assisted by the following officers with the rank of superintendent assistant regional director for administration assistant regional director for operations and regional chief of directorial staff assistant regional director for fire protection the assistant heads of the department's regional offices rank is senior superintendent district fire marshal the heads of the NCR district offices dash. Rank is senior superintendent. Provincial fire marshal, the heads of the provincial offices dash. Rank is superintendent. District fire marshal, heads of the district offices, rank. Is chief inspector. Chief of municipal, city fire station, also called city slash. Municipal fire marshal, the heads of the municipal or. City stations, rank as senior inspector. Fire station, at least one in every provincial capital, city, and municipality. LGU local government unit, shall provide the site of the fire station. RA 9263, this act shall be known as the Bureau of Fire Protection and Bureau of Jail Management and Penology Professionalization Act of 2004. The BFP is headed by a chief to be assisted by two deputy chief, one for administration and one for operation, all appointed by the President upon recommendation of DILG Secretary from among qualified officers with at least the rank of Senior Superintendent in the service. In no case shall any officer who has retired or is retirable within six, six, months from his, her compulsory retirement age be appointed as Chief of the Fire Bureau or Chief of the Jail Bureau. The Chief of the Fire Bureau and Chief of the Jail Bureau shall serve a tour of duty not to exceed four, four, years. The President may extend such tour of duty in times of war or other national emergency declared by Congress. RA 9514, this act shall be known as the Fire Code of the Philippines of 2008, an act establishing a comprehensive Fire Code of the Philippines repealing PD 1185 and for other purposes. Specific Gravity the density of liquids in relation to water. Spontaneous heating, the heating of an organic substance without the addition of external heat. Spontaneous heating occurs most frequently where sufficient air is not present to dissipate the heat produced. Temperature reduction, method of extinguishing fire, cooling the fuel with water to a point where it does not produce sufficient vapor to burn. Vapor density, the density of a particular gas or vapor relative to that of hydrogen at the same pressure and temperature. Definition of terms under RA 9514. Abatement, any act that would remove or neutralize a fire hazard. Administrator, any person who acts as agent of the owner and manages the use of a building for him. Blasting agent. Any material or mixture consisting of a fuel and oxidizer used to set off explosives. Cellulose nitrate or nitrocellulose, a highly combustible and explosive compound produced by the reaction of nitric acid with a 
cellulose material. Cellulose nitrate plastic, pyroxylin, any plastic substance. Materials or compound having cellulose nitrate, nitrocellulose. As base. Combustible, flammable or inflammable, descriptive of materials. That are easily set on fire. Combustible fiber, any readily ignitable and free burning fiber such. As cotton, oakum, rags, waste cloth, waste paper, kapok, hay, straw. Spanish moss, excelsior and other similar materials commonly. Used in commerce. Combustible liquid, any liquid having a flash point at or above 37.8. C. 100 F. Corrosive liquid, any liquid which causes fire when in contact with organic matter or with certain chemicals. Curtain board, a vertical panel of non combustible or fire resistive materials attached to and extending below the bottom cord of the roof. Trusses, to divide the underside of the roof into separate compartments so that heat and smoke will be directed upwards to a roof vent. Cryogenic, descriptive of any material which by its nature or as a result of its reaction with other elements produces a rapid drop in temperature of the immediate surroundings. Damper, a normally open device installed inside an air duct system, which automatically closes to restrict the passage of smoke or fire. Distillation. The process of first raising the temperature in separate. The more volatile from the less volatile parts and then cooling and condensing the resulting vapor so as to produce a nearly purified substance. Duct system, a continuous passageway for the transmission of air. Dust, a finely powdered substance which, when mixed with air in the proper proportion and ignited will cause an explosion electrical arc, an extremely hot luminous bridge formed by passage of an electric current across a space between two conductors or terminals due to the incandescence of the conducting vapor. Ember, a hot piece or lump that remains after a material has partially burned, and is still oxidizing without the manifestation of flames. Finishes, materials used as final coating of a surface for ornamental or protective purposes. Fire, the active principle of burning, characterized by the heat and light of combustion. Fire trap, a building unsafe in case of fire because it will burn easily or because it lacks adequate exits or fire escapes. Fire alarm, any visual or audible signal produced by a device or system to warn the occupants of the building or firefighting. Elements of the presence or danger of fire to enable them to undertake immediate action to save life and property and to suppress the fire. Fire door, a fire resistive door prescribed for openings in fire separation walls or partitions. Fire hazard, any condition or act which increases or may cause an increase in the probability of the occurrence of fire, or which may obstruct delay, hinder or interfere with firefighting operations, and the safeguarding of life and property. Fire lane, the portion of a roadway or public way that should be kept opened and unobstructed at all times for the expedient operation of firefighting units. Fire protective and fire safety device, any device intended for the protection of buildings or persons to include but not limited to built-in protection systems such as sprinklers and other automatic extinguishing system detectors for heat smoke and combustion products and other warning system components personal protective equipment such as fire blankets helmets fire suits gloves and other garments that may be put on or worn by persons to protect themselves during fire Fire safety constructions, refers to design and installation of walls, barriers, doors, windows, vents, means of egress, etc. integral to and 
incorporated into a building or structure in order to minimize danger to life from fire, smoke, fumes or panic before the building is evacuated. These features are also designed to achieve, among others, safe and rapid evacuation of people through means of egress sealed from smoke or fire, the confinement of fire or smoke in the room or floor of origin and delay their spread to other parts of the building. By means of smoke sealed and fire resistant doors, walls and floors. It shall also mean to include the treatment of buildings components or contents with flame retardant chemicals. Flashpoint, the minimum temperature at which any material gives off vapor in sufficient concentration to form an ignitable mixture with air. Forcing a process where a piece of metal is heated prior to changing its shape or dimensions. Fulminate, a kind of stable explosive compound which explodes by percussion. Hazardous operation, process, any act of manufacturing, fabrication, conversion, etc., that uses or produces materials which are likely to cause fires or explosion. Horizontal exit passage away from one building to another or through or around a wall in approximately the same floor level hose box a box or cabinet where fire hoses valves and other equipment are stored and arranged for firefighting hose reel a cylindrical device turning on an axis around which a fire hose is wound and connected hypergolic fuel a rocket or liquid propellant which consists of combinations of fuels and oxidizers which ignite spontaneously on contact with each other industrial baking and drying the industrial process of subjecting materials to heat for the purpose of removing solvents or moisture from the same and or to fuse certain chemical salts to form a uniform glazing the surface of materials being treated jumper a piece of metal or an electrical conductor used to bypass a safety device in an electrical system. Occupancy, the purpose for which a building or a portion thereof is used or intended to be used. Occupant, any person actually occupying and using a building or portions thereof by virtue of a lease contract with the owner or administrator or by permission or sufferance of the latter. Organic peroxide, a strong oxidizing organic compound which releases oxygen readily. It causes fire when in contact with combustible materials especially under conditions of high temperature. Overloading, the use of one or more electrical appliances or devices which draw or consume electrical current beyond the designed capacity of the existing electrical system. Owner the person who holds the legal right of possession or title to a building or a real property. Oxidizing material, a material that readily yields oxygen in quantities sufficient to stimulate or support combustion. Pressurized or forced draft burning equipment, type or burner where the fuel is subjected to pressure prior to discharge into the combustion chamber and or which includes fans or other provisions for the introduction of air above normal atmosphere pressure into the same combustion chamber. Public assembly building, any building or structure where 50, 50 or more people congregate, gather, or assemble for any purpose. Public way, any street, alley or other strip of land unobstructed. From the ground to the sky, deeded, dedicated or otherwise permanently appropriated for public use pyrophoric descriptive of any substance that ignites spontaneously when exposed to air refining a process where impurities and or deleterious materials are removed from a mixture in order to produce a pure element of compound it shall also refer to partial distillation and electrolysis self-closing doors Automatic closing doors that are designed to confine smoke and heat and delay the spread of fire. Smelting, 
melting or fusing of metallic cores or compounds so as to separate impurities from pure metals. Sprinkler system, an integrated network of hydraulically designed piping installed in a building, structure or area with outlets. Arranged in a systematic pattern which automatically discharges water. When activated by heat or combustion products from a fire. Stand pipe system, a system of vertical pipes in a building to which fire hoses can be attached on each floor, including the system by which water is made available to the outlets as needed. Vestibule, a passage hall or antechamber between the outer doors and the interior parts of a house or building. Vertical shaft, an enclosed vertical space of passage that extends from floor to floor, as well as from the base to the top of the building.